Let's go, LT. Come on. Lieutenant Goldman, I'm Barnes. I'll be debriefing you men. I'll take that briefcase from you now. After what we went through today, like hell he will. Sergeant Anderson, you take that to Major Donnelly personally. You can give this to the Navy SEALs with my compliments. There it is, sir. That's the courier briefcase off the chopper. They insisted on bringing it to you directly, sir. Yes, sir. And with regards to what Lieutenant Goldman did during the extraction today, I hope you take into account the fact that we wouldn't even have this briefcase if he hadn't jumped up under fire and pulled it up out of the river. Nobody told them? Besides Ross, only you and I knew, sir. Tell me what, sir. The actual documents we were after were on an observation plane shot down 30 miles from where you were. But since that helicopter went down the same day, it made a perfect decoy. What the hell are you talking about, decoy? You sent us up there for nothing? You were sent on orders. M.I. was concerned that the enemy was monitoring our activities, so they wanted to mislead them. Ross was supposed to tell you. Ro Ross? Ross is dead. You're our commanding officer. Why didn't you tell us? Ross was in charge of the mission, and you watch your tone, Sergeant. I have orders just like you. What about the unwritten order that you're always supposed to take care of your own people, huh? Look, you did a good job. Don't make it difficult for me to recognize that fact. Now, I suggest you get out of here and go cool off. 